crime, poverty and pollution. Those are some of the most pressing problems the world faces every day. Artificial intelligence has the potential to help solve those problems. But how do we make it happen? Well, in one of the most dynamic tech nations of the world, things are speeding up. Can we identify 10 problems of the society which can be solved by AI? That's the question Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi asked the people. Maybe he's also addressing two of the most powerful men in tech who were born in India, the CEOs of Google and Microsoft, Sundar Pichai and Satya Nadella. In any case, AI has great problem-solving skills. An AI system can gather large amounts of data. It can examine the data and show clusters or identify patterns. And an AI could show solutions that have worked in other cases. It might even develop new ones. Which everyday problem would you have fixed by AI? Let us know in the comments. We asked some of our DW colleagues from around the world and identified three fields where AI is needed. AI models can sift through police databases and analyze crime trends. This way, they could predict when and where violent crimes will happen. There are also already publicly accessible systems in place. When citizens report a crime, the data is used to show crime hotspots on a map. That allows people to steer clear of the area. Footage from public surveillance cameras can also be analyzed by AI. It could, for example, identify suspicious behavior of people and issue warnings early on. So-called predictive policing systems have proven successful in the past. Past, but they also face criticism. The databases they work with often rely on older statistics, plus they come to racially biased conclusions. So there's a lot of work to be done. Let programmers get to it. By analyzing traffic flow and suggesting improvements, AI could make your commute to work smoother, but it could also help with smog. Air sampling devices around cities can measure the air quality and publish pollution levels. In case of high air pollution, AI can issue warnings to the public. AI systems could also monitor traffic through cameras and react in real time to traffic jams or accidents. They could then provide solutions using traffic light timing, variable speed limits, and detours. All the collected data can be used to draw a bigger picture as well. This would help make urban planning decisions. For example, where does a general speed limit make sense? And where should more trees be planted to improve air quality? In rural areas, AI can help farmers get better results by analyzing data such as how planting cycles and the use of fertilizers influence the harvest. A properly trained AI could suggest best practices to increase yield. It can also monitor weather data and advise farmers to take necessary actions on time. There are also high hopes when it comes to AI boosting education and helping people to earn more. And AI-powered learning tools are not only helpful for people in remote areas. Custom-tailored teaching programs take into account a student's individual knowledge, background and learning curve. They have already been implemented in some parts of the world with great success. By avoiding over-challenged and under-challenged students, AI systems can also help reduce the number of school dropouts. Last but not least, AI can take over repetitive routine tasks for teachers. That would enable them to invest more time in taking care of their students beyond the current curriculum. Like I mentioned in the beginning, India's approach is to involve the public when it comes to how AI can serve society. I think that's a great idea. Because AI is a powerful problem-solving tool and to have a public discussion will do a great deal in identifying urgent problems and working on finding solutions to them. From my point of view, a government-driven initiative would be better than leaving the development of AI technology to private enterprises. AI needs to be put to use for the general public, regardless of any financial benefit. That's it from me today. See you next time. Bye.